Good afternoon, friends. I am here today to show you how I make these awesome new uh, lentil fl flatbreads that my mom sent me the recipe for. I tried them yesterday and they are fantastic. So what I'm going to do is show you how to make them. And then later I'm going to have some with my soup for lunch. This recipe, they're called lentil uh, flatbreads. And this recipe requires two ingredients, red lentils, red lentils, and the second ingredient, water. That's it. So what I did earlier this morning, I put in one and a, cap, one and a half cups of red lentils into my um, cup here, and I measured three cups of water. So whatever, one measure of lentils, two measures of water, and you soak them for a minimum three hours. Once they're soaked, what you do is pour them into a blender, you blend it, and then you add spices you like, and I added salt, and Cajun seasoning, and oh, one second, an onion powder, because I love onion powder everywhere for everything. I'll find it. Anyways, that's what I'm gonna repeat today. I might even add a touch of uh, cayenne, because I like spicy, but I might not. Depends on my mood in a couple of minutes. So what I'm gonna do is put this into the blender and blend it. And I will be right back because this gets really loud and I don't want you to have to listen to that. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is pour this right. Whatever water I soak these lentils in, that's the only water I'm going to use. And I did, again, yesterday I did a cup of lentils and two cups of water, and today I did a cup and a half of lentils and three cups of water because I thought I'd make a few so that we have a couple of, Chris and I can have a couple for each meal, and we can have them at least for a couple of meals, not just one, because out of those, um, out of the one cup of lentils, I was able to make four because I would have had five if I didn't screw up the first one and it became mushy and didn't come out. So um, now I learned my lesson. So I'm gonna blend this and I'll be right back or maybe I should blend it while you guys are listening because it's really that quick. So no i think i'm gonna the noise is too much so it's probably i'm gonna count the seconds and see how long i blended and i'll be right back i'm back 30 seconds that's it um i did 10 on the low and the medium and then 20 on the high so and this is how it looks like i'm gonna pour it here so you can see it 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 is kind of like a pancake batter consistency and it thickens a little bit when it sits in the pot in the, in this in this dish there you go all right we move this guy Oh, whoops, sorry, technical difficulties. I'll be right back. I'm back again. So here is my batter. You see that? Okay, so right now it doesn't have anything in it. And what I would like to do, I'm gonna add some salt. Just measure like that. I'm going to add some Cajun seasoning. What do I do with it? Oh, where did I put it? Hmm? My goodness, I had it in my hand a moment ago. Oh, it fell over. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna add some of this, kind of like 
liberal. See? Because I like it that way. And onion powder. Again, I love onion powder, so a nice big, I'd say a good tablespoon and a half. Love onion powder. You could probably add onions in it, but that would not be a two ingredient thing then, right? I'm gonna mix this. Meantime, I'm gonna turn on the heat here on. Oh, wrong burner, yeah, so that, okay, this burner. Um, I'm gonna put it on seven, it goes from low two, three, four, five up to eight, and then high, and I'm gonna put it on seven. So that would be between medium and high, halfway kind of thing. I'm gonna heat it up. It's a nonstick pan, a crepe pan. So I'm gonna heat it up, and then we're gonna make these flatbreads, and it's water, red lentils, and spices. That's what we're doing here. I'll add just a tiny little bit more salt. Just the feeling, I guess. I always cook like that. I don't measure too much, right? All right. That's it. That's all there's to it. I'm going to find my ladle. going to do once the pan is heated we're going to measure one of these ladles one ladle is one flatbread and that's how it's going to be i'm going to make one and show it to you and then i'll pause and finish cooking and then we'll enjoy them you can have them with peanut butter you can have them with a whole bunch of sauteed veggies like you could saute mushrooms, um, onions, peppers together in water, like water, sa water saute. You can add a little bit of soy sauce to it or um, um, vegan Worcestershire sauce, or you can add whatever doesn't have sugar in it, right? So, or you can just saute in water, add a tiny bit of salt or um, soy sauce if you like that. And then you can wrap that into one of these flatbreads and you get the protein with the flatbread and you get all the veggies you need and then you have a fruit as dessert and the meal is complete, right? Or you can have a cup of miso and a cup of miso soup, sorry, not a cup of miso, a cup of miso soup and you can have a couple of these wraps with veggies and a piece of fruit, whatever. I mean, it's... And, and for dinner, again, you could have a nice big salad and then um, just eat these on the side or chop them up into the salad even, right? Um, yeah, so they're, they're very versatile. I think they're good with breakfast too if you put some, put banana or berries in and wrap it up and, and eat, eat it that way um, with a couple of nice herbal tea it's just a fantastic breakfast and you could put a few fries like air fried fries on the side and man bob's your uncle as they say right so um we're waiting for the pan to preheat so i'm just going to check on it and we're going to get on with it okay so i think it's a, it's warm i don't think it's red, super ready yet but what i'm going to do i'm going to mix this That it uh, it thickened a little bit. You can't see it, but see. Okay, so I'm gonna mix it just so it doesn't settle. And put one of these ladles like that. Okay, let me just come closer so you can see what I'm doing. So what I'm gonna do is take a ladle, pour it in the middle. It's really thick, and then I'm gonna go like this. I want to leave it a little thick because these are awesome and I don't want them too thin. 
So now I'm going to let it cook in a minute or so. Whoops, I can't see. In a minute or so, a um, minute, two minutes, you'll see. I'll turn it, I'll flip it, and then it will be flipped. And then it takes another 30 seconds to a minute, and then it's done for one, right? It's quick, easy, two ingredients, water and lentils. How awesome is that? It's like super, super good for you, loaded with nutrients, fill it with fruits or veggies, and enjoy, right? Right. That looks awesome. It smells good. Yep. First one is always a little gimpy. When kids were little and I used to make crepes on Sundays for breakfast, it was um, the first gimpy one was always Hannah's and I was trying to make it um, either first or last, depends on which one turned out gimpy. <laughs> and Hannah was the designated devourer of that particular crepe. All right. Awesome. I want to show you. Nice and crispy. See that? Yep. Ha! All righty. See what I'm doing? Checking on the pan, making sure that there's nothing there. So the next one doesn't stick. So these are soft and mm, they smell good and they're yummy. Oh, I am so hungry now. Okay, and we're gonna make another one of these. We just don't want them too big. Because they're nice and thick. When they're nice and thick, they're very, very yummy. I'll be back later. All right. There's a bunch of them made. I'm going to go enjoy them for lunch and the rest is still cooking. Enjoy your day. Bye.